Okay, so this is a leg behind the head video. This is in honor of you, Fiona, who specially requested it, and everyone else who, who finds the idea of getting the leg behind the head a really fun one, but who also, but who also maybe realizes the benefits of opening up the lower back, the sacrum, the hips, just having a freedom of mobility in the way you can move, the way you can express yourself, the way in every single way you can just play, have joy in the way you move or the way you express yourself in life, because the whole of life is a dance. Ta -da. Okay, so we're going to start really simply. We're starting in down dog. So getting familiar with down dog, your hands are shoulder distance apart, your lower belly is drawing into your spine, the front of your ribs is drawing into the back of your ribs and just walking through your heels here softening into your form you're committing the pads of the fingers to the ground so they're grounded they won't budge if someone tries to move them we did this in a class i did recently and like everyone was like oh my god we can't move your hands and it's not like they've got a special magnetized force to the earth which i do of course it's just that real commitment that you just keep grounding 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 and it just happens you've got the strength everywhere from your fingernails up toward your belly so we're going to ground more through the left heel here. Express the right leg up. Watch it disappear. Now open it out to the side. Squeeze your sit bones. Exhale. This is what, number one. To the nose. Send the right foot up. Open it out to the side. Exhale. Belly pulls in. Inhale. Open. Strong right leg. Open it out to the side. You can even look underneath your right armpit here. To the nose. Belly pulls in. Send it up. One more. Open. Exhale. Knee to nose. Right foot between the hands. Good, number two. Inhale, we look forward, we lift the chest. Exhale, we pull back, look towards the back knee. Inhale, we come forward, open, ground through the right foot. Exhale, pull back. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, pull back. So you can do this anywhere. You can do this in your restaurant. You can do this next to your kitchen. Pull back. One more, inhale, exhale, pull back, elbows are soft, good, stage three, lizard pose, if you have a block, have your hands on the block, if you're finding it tricky to get your elbows to the ground, and we're going to soften here for five breaths, so all within five minutes, you're going in the direction of, or you're going to get your leg behind your head, how exciting is that, five minutes, wow, <laughs> so we're softening, what is time? in the illusion of life. <laughs> we're here now, so we're breathing, relaxing into that right hip. There's no time, but hey, let's play with it anyway. And relax. And breathe. Last breath. And exhale. Good. We come to the side like we're about to headbutt someone, and this is the special Katie Asana. Replacing, it's funny because in Bikram Yoga, people have been asking me a lot about how I get my leg behind the head, and this is the trick. And a lot of people I know who do a lot of Bikram are starting to do it now. So it's called Christened eight Katie Asana. So bring the leg, the head, start to bring the head underneath the leg from here by lifting up your hips, reach into your spine. By lifting up your hips, reach into your spine and then start to drop the head. Doesn't matter if you're like that, but you're going underneath, you're going in that direction. Keep lifting into your spine. See if you can see your back leg for those who are there. You can lift up your back leg, bring it into your hips. Or you can just stay where you are, hanging out. It's like having a cup of tea. If you're in a restaurant, maybe someone could give you a, cu a cup of hot water. <laughs> this is your chance. <laughs> and then we gently come out. And we come back. And we come back to down dog. And we just experience in down dog for three breaths. How your right foot connects with the earth in comparison with your left foot. How do your hips feel? How's the pelvis? How does the right pelvis feel on the right side in comparison with the left pelvis? How is that affecting your shoulders? Do they feel even? Balanced, do both hands feel grounded evenly? Good, we go onto the other side. Right foot grounds, we lift the left foot up. Open it up to the side. Exhale, knee to nose, pull the belly into the spine. Inhale, send the left leg up and to the right. Exhale, knee to the nose. Inhale, send that left foot away and to the side. Hey foot. You can look underneath your armpit if you want. Go for an option. Knee to nose. Look between the hands. Left foot comes forward. Inhale, we drop the hips. We look forwards. We lift the chest. Hey heaven. 
Exhale, three pulling back. Exhale, look towards your back knee. Soften your hips, soften your elbows. As your elbows soften, see how that affects your shoulders. Inhale, we come forwards. Inhale. Exhale, we pull back. Inhale, we come forwards. We relax into the pelvis. Softening into our hamstrings here, which really helps with leg behind the head. Elbows soften, shoulders melt. See how everything's connected. We come forward, lizard pose. Five breaths here. Softening into your inhale. Feel your shoulder blades melting. Keep engaging the inner arch of your left foot. Relax your left hip, breathing, breathe in joy, exhaling, breathe in joy, exhale, share the joy. One more, inhale, breathe in love, feel it in every space in your body, exhale, melting, sharing everything you have. Reaching to the right, head budding, and now the finale. It's like someone's pulling you here, like in skiing when someone holds you from behind, lift you up after the head butt. <laughs> and then we come underneath. We reach into our spine and we drop the head. You might be here, you might be here, you might be ah, you might be feeling it around here. That's okay, just soften into what you feel, whatever you're experiencing is fine. But just melt as long as you're not in pain. If you come all the way, bring your heel into your bum. You can just relax here. Softening into your inhale. Softening into your exhale. Gently coming up, both hands come down, reaching back to down dog. Now feel your hips, feel how your feet are connected to the earth. Is it easier in down dog? Has it affected your down dog? For seeing how when you master one pose, it affects everything else. Something else shifts in the body. How do your shoulders feel? Do they feel even? How do the fingers connect to the earth now? How do the hips feel? And then gently coming down if you want this resting in child. Now feel free to stay here for a number of breaths or for as long as you want. If you want after that, so you can put the video on pause now and just relax. You can then just relax onto your back, softening here. And here you can just bring your knees into the chest and then just continue a little bit with what we've done with the hips. Which is introducing a new pose I know, but hey, no limits. And you can just relax here. Close your eyes. If you have a little eye thing for your eyes, place it here or just relax and melt. And feeling the effect on your body, particularly around this whole pelvis area, the root chakra region, and how it's affecting now the rest of the body. Enjoy. Have a super day. Thank you.